So if you guys have been watching the channel lately, you know I've started the process of bobbing out my 2008 Honda Shadow Aero 750. We already cut the frame, and we already got the rear uh, fender installed. And honestly, I think it's looking pretty good. But, since we don't have that factory fender anymore, now we gotta do something about our lights. Alright, so I was gonna utilize these factory bolt holes to mount the turn signals, but the metal's just a little too thick, and the stem doesn't go all the way through. So what I did, is I just ended up drilling a new hole right behind it, because I had plenty of metal left. So these are the turn signals we're going with. They are LED, and they actually came from Amazon. Affiliate link in the description, by the way. And I think they got a real cool look to them, so I think they're gonna work out great. And as with any inexpensive light, before you go through the whole trouble of mounting them up, we need to make sure they work. So black wire is going to be our ground, the red wire is going to be the brighter LED, and then the blue is going to be the dimmer LED. So the blue will be our marker light, and then the red will be our turn signal. And for being relatively inexpensive, these lights are actually pretty bright. So now that we've verified our lights work, we can go ahead and mount them up. So what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and thread the wires through that hole we drilled in the frame, Put the stem of the turn signal through, and what you're going to do is take the nut that came with it, and tighten her down. And as I can imagine, you guys probably already figured out, the other turn signal goes on the exact same way. So to wire these up, what I did was I actually cut the factory pigtails off the factory turn signals because I would much rather hack off, you know, something replaceable, like a turn signal harness, as opposed to cutting the actual harness of the bike. Very carefully, what we're doing is we're taking a pair of wire strippers and we're going to remove that outer sheathing and expose those wires. And you only need to strip back a little bit, I mean you don't need, you don't need a whole lot, just, just enough to work with. And then strip the ends of each individual wire, exposing the copper so we can make our connections. Now the best way to ensure a good connection would actually probably be to solder these together. However, because they are fairly inexpensive lights, I'm going to use the bullet style connector. These will make the lights a whole lot easier to replace on the off chance something happens to them. Basically it just keeps me from having to cut the harness up again. Since we put one side of the connector on the turn signals, now we gotta put the other side on the factory wiring harness. Now these do come with both male and female connections, so make sure you have a, <laughs> a matching set on each side. What I tried to do is I tried to put the uh, male end on the turn signal and the female end, since it has the insulation around it, on the wiring harness side. These are actually three wire lights, so in the rear, we don't need the running light. We only need the uh, turn signal function. So I'm taking this blue guy here, which was our dimmer LED, and taping him back against the insulation just to keep it from touching anything. It's just a, you know, little safety precaution is all. And since the tape was already in our hands, we just kept going and covered the uh, wires up a little bit just to protect them. Now, ideally, you'd probably want to use heat shrink, but that would mean I'd have to go to the store again. And if I have to go to the store again, I'm not finishing this project. And now you can plug your lights in. So, the factory wiring harness on my 2008 Honda Shadow Aero 750, the green is actually going to be the ground wire. But if for some reason you haven't plugged in backwards, it shouldn't hurt anything. You'll just have to switch the wires around. And so we do the same thing on the other side of the bike. Now I did forget to mention that the factory wire harness, there are two different plugs. There's an orange one and a blue one. The blue one is going to be the right side of the bike, the orange is going to be the left side of the bike. And actually the wires are color coded to those plugs, which makes it super, super easy. I went ahead and made the decision to go ahead and cover those uh, connectors with electrical tape as well. Because like I said before, if I have to stop and go to the store again, I mean, I had already been working on this for several hours at this point, and was already fairly kind of annoyed. It's also super hot out. Either way, this should protect them and provide a non-permanent solution. Yeah, that, that, that's the rationale I'll go with. Next step is to plug your turn signals in. 
So, like I said, they're color-coded. The right side of the bike is going to be blue, and since we didn't cut the bike's harness, these are just kind of plug-and-play now. And on the left side of the bike is going to be the orange connector. It plugs in the same way. And using everyone's favorite tool, the zip tie, go ahead and clean up that wiring a little bit, just to keep it out of the way. You can get as fancy as you want to with it. Basically, my goal is just to keep this thing from falling into the tire. Now that the turn signals are wired up, we can focus on the taillight slash brake light. And even though this was purchased separately, the wiring scheme is the same. Just as we did before, we'll go ahead and strip the wires exposing the copper, because we're going to use those same bullet style connectors again. And we'll crimp those on just like we did before. Just like the turn signals, we're going to reuse the factory harness for the uh, rear light. This, of course, is just to keep from cutting up the bike's harness, because, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's a whole can of worms that you definitely probably do not want to open. And, of course, again, we remove the sheathing and strip the wires back to expose the copper so we can make our connections. I'm sure by now you're pretty sick of seeing me uh, crimp, <laughs> crimp connectors on wires, but uh, we're almost done. So go ahead and run the wiring harness behind the shock, and now we're ready to plug in our tail light. Now this may not be true for your bike, but on my 2008 Honda Shadow Aero 750, here are the wiring colors for that rear harness. Next step, what I did is I carefully routed the wiring up into the, uh, I don't know, battery compartment? What do you even call this thing? Like, the space under the seat. Does it have, like, an official name? Let me know in the comments. Now that everything's wired and plugged in, we're going to double-check our work to make sure we have a tail light, brake light, and turn signals. I'm not sure if it's the lighting or if it was my phone. Those turn signals are actually really bright in person. Like, they are... You can definitely see them in the daytime. Alright, so we can go ahead and clean up our wiring harness a little bit. We're going to do the same thing as before, wrap these connectors in electrical tape just to protect them. I'll probably go back and add some heat shrink later, but for now, I'm just trying to get this finished. So then, I ran the wiring harness along the drive shaft, and using our favorite zip tie tools, well, zipped it in place. Now make sure you leave just a little bit of slack because that swing arm will move and you don't want it pulling on those wires. Then just clean the wiring up up top below the seat and that should be it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and give everything one more final test just to make sure we are good to go. I know wiring can be a little, I don't know, scary for some people, like you're real hesitant to dig into it. But honestly, it's not that bad. If you go slow and take your time, you usually end up with good results. So thanks for checking the video out guys, if you missed the fender install on this bike, go ahead and check out this video right here, and as always y'all, be good, see ya!